Hey guys, it's Same Princess here. <laughs> I'm just back with a video. <laughs> I, I don't know. It's, it's I think it's gonna be the hardest video I ever make on YouTube. <laughs> um, and the reason is, you know, I'm sure all of you guys know by now that uh, Sean Shamel, who does the voice of Goku in Dragon Ball Z, left Twitter. <sighs> so. That really um, impacted me because Sean's tweets have the ability to make me smile and get me out of bed. Okay, along with Chris Abbott's tweets, Eric Vale's tweets, and everyone else who was who is involved in Dragon Ball Z has the ability to make me do that. But Sean's tweets, Chris's tweets, and Eric's tweets mean the most to me. Um, not to pick favourites, but these three. And to have Sean go from Twitter where I can have some little contact with him. I mean that's just that's really sad to me <laughs> that I can't have because if if I didn't have these people in my life, I probably wouldn't be here right now. And I'm not exaggerating. I have a lot of, sh I mean, had a lot of stuff going on in my life, and most people have. But um, these three helped me a lot, especially. I mean, you know, I'm, t I'm talking about Sean right now. Okay, so Sean's tweets helped me a lot, and I can't. I can't believe that he's gone from Twitter and that I can't talk to him anymore. And I don't know how many times he's done this over the past year and a half, but he's said multiple times on his Twitter that he does not know when Dragon Ball Super is going to be dubbed, and yet people keep asking him. He gets asked that question probably 50,000 times a week. Okay? You know, maybe people even ask him on the street. They ask him on. Twitter and Facebook and cons and panels and interviews and things like that and it's it's really hard okay I mean he does appreciate us he's not mad at us he loves us all very much because he knows that without us he probably wouldn't be in this business you know he wouldn't have lasted this long so but at the same time you have to um, you have to understand him, so you have to put yourself in his shoes because that's the first step to understanding why someone does something or why someone says something or why someone, you know, yeah, does something in their life, right? So you put yourself in their shoes and you think about if you were him, okay? So if you were him, wouldn't you be upset sometimes when people ask you so many questions, the same question, over and over and over and over and over again, like clockwork, okay? There's no pause button. And I don't understand why some people just can't be patient, okay? Just, if you guys don't know how the industry works, please go search it online. Go to Google and type in voiceover industry, okay? These people, and I say people because they're people first, okay? These people that we are a fan of work extremely hard every day in their jobs, okay? Voice acting is not easy, okay? But they scream at the top of their lungs. They rip their throats out to give us the best possible performance, Right? Because they have to put all their feelings in that voice. Okay? They're not using the body or their facial expressions. They're using their voice only and that is extremely difficult. Okay? And we are happy that we have even had their attention this long. Okay? We should be happy. Alright? So instead of being so impatient and keep asking these voice actors so many times, go search the industry a bit, okay? Go search it online, 
all right? And then maybe you'll understand that these voice actors and voice actresses and stuff like that can't talk about their projects for sometimes even a whole year. And they have said this multiple times on panels and interviews and on their Twitters and I don't know anymore. Okay, I'm sorry if I'm being a bit mean here, but I don't want to be, okay? It's just this whole thing is it's just so sad to me. Okay? I mean I hope he come, one day comes back. I really do. Because he's he's one of my heroes. He's the reason I wake up every morning. Okay? And I can't you know, stress it enough how important it is for us to be patient with these people. Okay? If you actually feel like finding out some, about something about the Dragon Ball Super Dub, the best place to go to ask is Funimation's Twitter account. Go to Funimation's Twitter. Tweet them. But no, don't bombard them as well, okay? Just be calm when you're doing it. Okay, don't just be crazy right now, okay? And you're probably, we're not, probably not going to get the dub maybe even next year. Maybe we're going to have to wait until late next year to get it. Okay, but you can't just keep asking the voice actors over and over and over and over again. Before, like, okay, they, are, they do appreciate the enthusiasm. They really do. Okay, they appreciate us. But it still doesn't mean that they're not irritated by something that we do. Okay, a little bit. All right, and if Sean is really that affected by what is going on on Twitter, then maybe it's a good thing that he's not on it. Okay, so if, if this causes so much stress to him, then it's better that he's not on it. Okay, um, but like, I'm, I, I am, I'm just, I, I can't even talk right now a little, I actually feel like I'm crying. <laughs> A little bit like when I heard that he he left, I started crying a little bit to be honest. And I feel crying right now because I just can't believe it. And I um and I just want to ask you guys like, aren't you sad too? Like, aren't you really sad now? What the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> My God! What the bloody people? I'm making a video here. Um, neighbors. Um, I'm gonna ask you this, okay? I already I did ask you, but aren't you angry right now? Aren't you upset right now? Aren't you, like, aren't you just sad right now that we lost him on Twitter? Aren't you sad? I mean, come on, people. Give him a break. Give them a break. Okay? Just a little bit. Okay? They do appreciate the questions and they appreciate the enthusiasm, but sometimes, really, it can get really annoying. Imagine you being asked those questions 10,000 times a day. Okay? I mean, you would go crazy, too. I would. Okay? People even ask me when the Dragon Ball Super dub is coming. I'm like, why are you asking me for? And, like... Will you talk to them? I talk to them as much as you. Okay? I'm, ju I'm just a fan. Why would they tell me and not tell you? Okay? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> right? It doesn't make any sense that they would tell me and not the rest of the fandom. I'm, I'm, I'm no one special. I'm just a fan like everyone else. So why would they tell me and not you? It doesn't make any sense to me. Alright? I don't understand that question. I don't understand that answer. Alright? And I guess my point is just if you want to know more about the industry and why they can't say things that they're working on for a whole year sometimes, then go search it. Okay? Go search it on the internet. I can't stress this enough that they can't. Okay? They even say it so many times. And Sean has a right to say whatever he wants on Twitter. He has a right to tell you that he doesn't want to talk about Dragon Ball Super, that he doesn't want to talk about whatever he just doesn't want to talk about. Okay? Because they're all human first. They all have human emotions beside being voice actors. They're human. Okay? And think of think of them as that. 
Don't think of them as voice actors and someone that you're a fan of. Think of them as people. Just like you. Okay, they have health issues and family issues and, I don't know, some issues. Okay, they work really hard. They sign contracts every day, probably. I mean, come on. Okay, just tone it down a little, please. Okay, we don't want to drive the whole Dragon Ball Z community off Twitter now. What do you want to do now? Okay, I'm sorry that I'm a bit acting like this, but seriously, just calm down. Focus on other things in your life, and then months will pass, days will pass, weeks, I mean, weeks, weeks, days, hours, minutes, seconds, and then you'll get that news that's going to make you feel like an eight-year-old kid again. I'm going to feel like that. I don't know about you guys, but I'm going to feel like that. I can't wait for the dub. Let alone anyone else. Okay, I can't wait. I really can't. Okay? But I'm still being patient and watching the sub. Go watch the sub, guys. If you're a true fan, you'd go watch the sub. You wouldn't care what language it is in. In Italian, German, Serbian. I don't, I don't mind if it's Serbian because I'm not Serbian. But in English, Japanese or Chinese or Indian, you wouldn't care. You would still watch it. Go watch the sub. I'm pretty sure you'll understand it better in a way. Okay? Just go watch the sub a little. Enjoy it. Doesn't matter if it's in sub. Okay, enjoy the voice actors from Japan and respect them. Respect these people. Please. Respect them. Yeah, they have they work so hard for us. Okay? I'm gonna stop the video now. Because if I do keep talking, this video is gonna drag on for like an hour. Because I can keep talking about this for a while. Okay, so I hope you like this video. I hope you have something to say to me. If you have something to say to me, just leave it down in the comments and I'll respond to you later. Okay? Have a great day and night, guys, wherever you are. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.